to forever mias today we are going to make a quick chicken gravy so to a hot pan i'm adding oil to it once the oil is hot i'm adding all the garam masalas to cardamom 3 to 4 cloves half an inch of cinnamon stick and one black cardamom so allow the garam masala to splutter and now i'm adding roughly chopped around two onions and 3 to 4 green chilies to it sort it very well okay you can see that the onions are changing to brown color when they slightly pink color you can add the ginger garlic uh, paste to it i have added around 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste to it this is a very quick recipe and i would call it as a bachelor's chicken recipe so now the onions are brown i'm adding two ripe tomatoes which are roughly chopped allow the tomatoes and the onions to get nicely sauteed in oil because it enhances the flavor the nicely the tomato and onion are sauteed it changes the color the taste of your chicken gravy will also be enhanced okay we can see that the tomatoes are leaving oil you can smash the tomatoes with the back of the spoon Okay so now I'm adding all the masalas like half a teaspoon of turmeric powder around 2 teaspoons of coriander powder and 1 and 1/2 teaspoons of red chili powder you can also adjust the quantity of red chili powder as per your requirement if you don't want it spicy you can uh, make it to half a teaspoon or 1 teaspoon of red chili powder i use around 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of red chili powder because it goes very well with you know spicy chicken curry and jeera rice together So now I am adding it on half a kg of uh, chicken. Now mix it thoroughly so that the masalas are well coated on the chicken. Yes. Now uh, let us add salt to it. Salt you can add as per taste. And mix it again. add around a teaspoon of garam masala to it uh, this is store bought uh, garam masala that i'm using right now i am adding water to it make sure the water uh, is added to a level that it covers the chicken because the chicken will also leave water from it so i now add a uh, roughly chopped coriander leaves to it and now we're going to let the chicken cook in this masalas so you can either have it in an open pot or else you can use a pressure cooker so if you are using a pressure cooker around two whistles will be enough for the chicken to be cooked completely now you can see the chicken has getting cooked it started leaving from the bones so your quick and easy spicy chicken curry is ready and as i said earlier this goes very well with hot steaming jeera rice I hope you all will have a yummy lunch with jeera rice and chicken curry. Uh thanks for watching our video and please do subscribe to our channel.